kicking off a month's worth of Money Monday segments focused on credit. Why it's such a big deal. Jade is here today from uh, Mountain America Credit Union talking a little bit about it because you're an expert. You're a guy who knows just about everything there is to know when it comes to yeah. insights on credit, how we can maintain the best credit number possible, our rating. Right. So first off, a really simple question for anyone who's ever tried to buy a car, buy a house, right. you know, but why is a credit number, a credit score so important? Well, it drives so many things, Andrew. I mean, I, I, the first thing it's going to drive is whether you get approved or not. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's one right. factor that's going to go in and how much maybe you can qualify for. But maybe the most important thing is the interest rate that mm -hmm. you're going to pay because the credit score is reflecting your financial behavior to prospective creditors. So it's a reflection of the risk. If your risk is high, then they're going to be compensated for that in the terms of interest rate, and the interest rate will be higher. Your credit score is very good, the risk is low, you'll pay lower interest rates. And there are people at every company that they do sort of loans that have risk management people that that's what they do is calculate right. how much of a risk you are to make your payments or not. That, yeah, that's right. And, 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 the, and the one that we really focus on is the FICO score. That's mm -hmm. the one that's most common and most used everywhere. Every lender will use that FICO score a little bit differently, but you can pretty much you know, know the score range. It's 300 to 850. Higher is the better. If right. you're in that kind of mid 700s, say 750-plus, you're in great shape. That's mm -hmm. excellent credit. The average score for uh, Americans is somewhere between 670 and 680. Really? That's right. the average? That's the right. average. Where is the troublesome spot? Once it gets below what is uh, yeah. considered troublesome? Once, once you start to get maybe to that 620, 600 and below, that's kind of where it becomes troublesome and you're going to be paying higher interest rates and maybe even having some trouble getting approved. Let's back up and... So for people who may not have a lot of credit in their past, mm -hmm. how do they go about getting credit or attaining good credit? Sure. sure. If you have no credit, here's the best way to do it. Is start small and build. Mm -hmm. You probably don't want to go with no credit in and ask for a $50,000 BMW right. loan. You're probably not going to get that. But say start with a small credit card, you know, $500, $1,000, somewhere in that range. The other possibility is getting a co-signer. You know, I might come with you, Andrew, and you might vouch for me. And, and say, Nick might... Spender Jade is going to back me. <laughs> So you're going to be my. Well, I was thinking the other way around. Oh, okay. you know, you, you, you. you're the big spender backing me. <laughs> if it, the other, the one element that really goes into it is time. If your credit, if you've established but it's low, pay on time. Use things like uh, auto pay to make sure that you can stay up on time mm -hmm. uh, on your payments. And then just uh, the lower, the further any derogatories get in the past, the less impact they have on that score. It is good stuff. Jade Beckman here all month long. We'll be talking about credit issues, how they impact you, how you can get a good credit score, and how you can keep those interest rates low. We'll be talking about it with our friends from Mountain America Credit Union. Jade, Great. thanks so much for being here, bud. Thanks, Andrew. All right, Brooke.